Atlantis, this person, Matthew Crocrox, forgive me if I pronounce his name wrong, is talking about Atlantis. Listen. I care about Plato's story right now. Let's put that off the side. I'm so sick of people saying that that's the only reason Atlantis is around or exists because of Plato. It's not Can true. The... Okay, so basically what he's really saying is don't listen to Plato because um, there's other people, etc. out there. Not really many that ended up telling Plato anyway. So let's let's have a look and see what he says here. So what, like... But Plato gives very detailed descriptions of where it is. It... Oh, so now he's going back to where Plato is. Um, the problem is with that is when you read Plato's story, it's up to four hours long. And this was a person telling a person, telling another person. I'm being paraphrasing here, but basically um, I wouldn't remember one one minute's worth of the details not let alone four hours however i did do a video where i didn't use plato and if you go to my website our lovely almighty god who wow what's he been up to let's have a look what he's been up to so the flood yeah totally wiping us all out nice of him the plagues of egypt if you watch my videos i actually proved that it's the events that happened in israel where Egypt ended up getting the aftermath. So, for example, in Israel, he blocked off waterways and all the animals and insects, etc., ended up heading towards the Nile. So, yes, he was trying to wipe us out there. The destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, the incident of the Golden Calf, various wars and conquests, lots and lots and lots. And then, obviously, you got the revelations with the seven seals and seven trumpets. If you watch my Patreon video, I show exactly what the seven trumpets were. They were missiles or rockets of some description. Power of Judgment, the Battle of Armageddon. You, you get the idea. So, hmm, or was it Enlil, uh, the Sumerian god, or Enki? Nick has wrote, I can debunk you. No problem at all. Just write down what it is that you would like to debunk me about, and I'll, I've only got 32 messages left, so quickly tell me, you know, are you going to debunk me about the Anunnaki or, you know, whatever I've said? Do, do tell. Just type it type it in. And then um, once I get to that, then I can say to you, OK, show me the evidence. Or you can show me the evidence right now. Obviously, I can show you the evidence. I, I could type it in right now very quickly, maybe two or three um, times I could, might need to post. I could give you the website for the... Well, to be honest, I could just give you the, my video if it's to do with the Anunnaki, because that shows where all the evidence is. Nick has wrote, Atlantis in Antarctica. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, Nick's going to show us right now. He might need two or three or four uh, times to type the whole thing out for the evidence, but he's going to be showing us the evidence, actually showing us the evidence. So, obviously, uh, Nick knows, I think it was Nick, knows that Thoth was an Atlantean, so obviously he's got to be able to prove that Thoth was there. He's got to prove that it was concentric circles. He's got to prove that there was lakes in between. He's got to prove that it was a city. He's got to prove... Oh, hang on. Last pole shift was 12,000 years ago. That's Nick. No, 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 Nick. Nick, I need the, I need the evidence. I need the evidence. You're waffling on about Younger Dryas and stuff like that. No, 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 you said Atlantis is there. So... Nick, I'm still asking you for the evidence. Focus, please. So Nick's going to show us that Thoth was there, that there's a concentric circles city. He's going to show us that the lakes were there in between the concentric circles. He's going to show us that it was sunk and not still uh, you know, up on the ground now. And he's going to show us the evidence that we can actually look at, because he's got evidence, obviously, to know that it was in, Atlant uh, in Antarctica. So, Nick, before you debunk me, uh, please type that evidence down. You've obviously got it from somewhere. And don't say YouTuber. For crying out loud, don't say YouTuber. So, if you could show me, you know, the underground or under the water um, LIDAR, maybe, or, you know, peer-reviewed papers of this city that's in Antarctica. Bear in mind, not many people are allowed in Antarctica. So, be very interested to see the evidence that this nick's got so nick we're waiting can someone pin it up nick can pin it up nick you've already pinned a couple of things up. okay go for it nick pin pin the links anything at all please don't be, send me to youtube come on nick he's still typing away all right i'll just read a few more nick then when you realize you can't do that feel free to say sorry for that you could debunk me maybe you can't because everything that i've just said nick i actually have pointed to the evidence on my video and it's pinned on my 
TikTok page. So all you have to do is click that, watch that, and you'll see the evidence. Everything that I've said is there, everything. And it's got evidence. Um, so if you, you know, I can point to the evidence right now, but um, it's all laid out beautifully. Uh, Nick has wrote, actually, if you watch Jessica Love, all you need, it's all there. So you've done, you've pointed me to someone else. So you can't actually give me the evidence. I knew it. I knew it. I still have undefeated expert because you could just give me her evidence jessica's right now type it in nick type it in you obviously followed her evidence didn't you nick jessica's you followed jessica's evidence because you wouldn't take her word for it would you and then come on here and try and de debunk me would you nick you've got you've got the evidence you've watched her video you've got the evidence you didn't take her word for it uh nick's wrote she did all the work. Yes, so perfectly, Nick. Just type where she got that evidence from, Nick. That's all I'm asking, Nick. Because I can show you right now the evidence that I have. I can tell you the name of the place that was a sunken city that had FOF, that had concentric circles, that had lakes by it, that was also called Atlantis, uh, the, the Egyptian Atlantis. I can show you all of that, Nick. It was called Heraclean. That's what we've called it. Egypt called it Atlantis. So, Nick, I can show you everything that I've just said in one word, Heraclean. Now, Nick, show me the evidence. You haven't done it, Nick. You fouled. Feel free to follow, Nick. You might learn some stuff. There's a difference between me and other people. I give evidence. Sorry if I went off on one. I just I hate people pretending that they know more than me when they obviously just pointing me to a youtuber literally it's what i said don't do nick has wrote sorry to frustrate no worries nick uh, no worries yeah i just it's just because i if you if you've watched any of my videos or anything you know I, I spend a lot of time making sure that no one can bunk me um and you know literally the the place i said you feel free to watch it if you can you know say that i'm wrong with evidence that's no problem at all i, I like that that because I'm, I'm only here to learn but when someone points me to a youtuber i knew that was going to happen um yeah i that's why i get a bit fr frustrated sorry um <clears throat> i'll shut up now hey satan i'm doing a video on you that's not my name what do you mean it's not your name it's, <laughs> satan's your name don't be daft look new international versions get your name there and look at all these different Bible versions with all oh, with Satan, Satan, Satan. It's not my name. It's your name. Look at all these versions here of the Bible. Hang on a minute. Young's literal translation, meaning the actual proper words. Oh, wow. It's an adversary. Yes, it's not my name. Satan's not my name. But, but that means um, there's you in the... With Adam and Eve, where it's a serpent and people call you Satan... No, it wasn't me, it wasn't there. Well, hang on a minute. When did the word Satan first appear? Well, it was in the book of Numbers. Oh, way later. So, in other words, they could have used the word Satan if that was your name. It's not my bloody name. Stop it. Well, how do I find out more about you? Go to uh, Outro History Patreon page. Silly question for people that don't believe in space. This is footage from NASA. And that long thing is a tether that's about 12 miles long. And then... Uh, the beginning of this video these strange things suddenly started to appear and they're out of nowhere now I know you could say well maybe they're ice particles which is what NASA was saying but one of them goes behind this one here goes behind that and that means that's three miles <laughs> three miles round in diameter so it's a big ice particle that suddenly appeared and as you see these move in different uh, strange patterns so I'm only asking because obviously either NASA has done this as a giggle because there's no such thing as space and they thought it would be fun to put something out or there really is space this really was footage and these are some sort of anonymously that appears in space your thoughts please exactly what's happening the entity that you're worshiping and praying to and begging and everything else in that book is actually Satan that's Enlil from the ancient Sumerian tablets Okay, Billy's not going to want to watch my documentary that I've done. It's 31 minutes on who Satan really was. And obviously I go through evidence as opposed to just sort of making up 
that Enlil was Satan, because if you even if you just read the Bible, you know it was an adversary of God, and obviously if Enlil was the God, then you can't have him being an adversary of himself. So yeah, unfortunately, if you're interested in who he really was, feel free on my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash outro history. Find out who Satan was. In fact, you can even find out who Lucifer was uh, on the so many different videos I've got on my Patreon page. So if you want the actual real evidence with evidence, follow me. My video on who Satan really was is now finished. It's a documentary at 31 minutes long. It's on my Patreon page called Our True History. So Patreon, Our True History. There's already 111 videos there. And we've got ones about dinosaurs and man. We've got Lucifer, who Lucifer was, Ancient Egypt, uh, the Book of Revelation. The list goes on 100 odd videos. But it's this beautiful one here that literally proves that what you're told, unless you do your own homework, what you are told is a load of load of stuff <laughs> um and this breaks it down for you unless you want to do your own homework you'll find out the same conclusion that i did so if you want to know who satan really was this is the video on my patreon.com forward slash outro history 31 minutes long i'm very excited for you guys to see it the awama awama spacecraft now if you was an advanced race that could actually uh, lift rocks from earth for example would you not cut into earth or into an asteroid and pull out a massive mile or two long rock then hollow it out then put just one entrance into it exit an entrance then you take that up into space once you've fitted it out with equipment and then you've got yourself a perfect spaceship doesn't have nuts or bolts but you've got your whole crew inside safe and sound with just one possible uh, exit and entrance so it makes sense that the Uwama Wuma, which was the craft that flew by a few years back uh, was a derelict um, spaceship that's been traveling around for apparently millennia so what do you think good idea instead of nuts and bolts I think it's a brilliant idea